He's got a base open. But that's the winning run at first. The tying runs at third. That's Mitchell. Night at first. Mookie Wilson is the batter. He has a hit. One out of three. A switch hitter. He'll bat left. Moments ago, the Red Sox were one strike away. Now they're one out away. Here's the pitch and a foul. Strike one back into the seats. And Wilson wasn't taking. Howard Johnson is on deck. He pinched it earlier and stayed in the game. Mookie's not bashful. He's not afraid to swing this bat. And he's not concerned right now. He wants a base hit. Next pitch from Stanley is a ball. And it's one and one. They hold against Ray Knight. He is not a threat to steal. The batter is Mookie Wilson. One ball, one strike, two on, two up. Way high. Ball two is Stanley slip coming off the pitching rubber. The on-deck batter is Howard Johnson. And this thing, this game, has been at the finish line three or four times. 5-4 Boston top, the bottom of the 10th inning. 5-4, first and third, two out, and a foul. Puts Boston within a strike of the title again and evens the count to Mookie Wilson. That ball in on him, two and two. Don't be surprised if you see his palm ball right here. First and third. Trying run at third. Winning run at first. Two out the pitch. A swing and a foul tip. He just got a piece of it. And that's how close Boston was to nailing it down. A foul by Mookie Wilson keeps him up there. Two on, two out, two balls, two strikes. The Mets have scored here in the tenth and they trail five to four. Trying to send us into tomorrow night. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul back and out of play. And Wilson hammered it one outside in the strike zone, I think, and stays two and two. Mitchell, the tying run at third. A base hit ties it for New York. A long one could win it. A home run would win it. The pitch. Ball three. Wild pitch. We're going to be tied. The ball went off the glove of the catcher. We're 5-5 five, five in the bottom of the tenth. Unbelievable, it's 5-5. Five, five. And now the winning runs at second with two out. A breaking ball, handcuffed Gedman. A breaking ball, handcuffed the catcher. And Mitchell raced home with the tying run. And Mookie Wilson could win it here. They have a base open and Howard Johnson up next. That run charged to Chiraldi. 3-2 pitch on the way. Swing and a high pop foul going out of play. And it gives everybody a chance to collect their collective breath as the Mets have scored two here in the 10th after scoring a run in the 8th to pull it out of the bag again. Boy, if this don't remind you of that California Angel Boston situation, nothing will. And a full count on Mookie Wilson. He could win it with a hit. Ray Knights at second base. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul out of play. And I'll tell you this, folks. If the Mets win this tonight, man, there'll be no holding them tomorrow. Dennis Boyd or no Dennis Boyd. They'll come out here looking like they're on stilts. It stays three and two. Let's look ahead to the Boston 11th inning. Evans will lead it off. Isn't this unbelievable? A couple of times, Boston was a strike away from winning. You remember that little foul tip just before, what they call it, a wild pitch or a fastball? I think they called it a wild. Wild pitch. Here's the pitch to Mookie Wilson. Winning run at second. Ground ball to first. It is a run, an error, an error by Buckner. The winning run scores. The Mets win at six to five with three in the tenth. The ball went right through the legs of Buckner. And the Mets, with two men out and nobody on, have scored three times to bring about a seventh game, which will be played here tomorrow night. Folks, it was unbelievable. An error right through the legs of Buckner. There were two on, nobody out. A single by Carter. A single by Mitchell. A single by Ray Knight. A wild pitch. Error by Buckner. Three in the ninth for the Mets. They've won the game six to five. And we shall play here tomorrow night.